Welcome, Chuck Jones here, founder, member of the BIM Traffic Academy.com and AKA the Traffic Junkie. So, in today's video tutorial, I wanted to share with you how I use uh, the keyword uh, tool to determine what kind of traffic that's being generated for an offer that I want to promote. I want to promote, prom excuse me, I want to promote one of my affiliate products. And today that is MCA. MCA is a Motor Club of America. And one of the benefits that, that Motor Club of America has is a roadside, a, excuse me, it's a 24 hour, 24 7 road, uh, emergency roadside assistance program. Okay, so one of the things that I, the keywords that I wanted to use would be road side assistance, and I wanted to find out by using that keyword how many people are searching for that keyword and what kind of traffic uh, is being generated based off that. Okay, so right now I have my match type for underneath broad and what that means is that this match type is giving me the sum I mean how much approximately how much traffic is being generated based off of uh, the keyword okay so and then broad itself means this is going to be the sum this is the sum of the the volume of the related any keywords related to that now uh, what the heck does that mean Joe that means that any combination of these words will produce uh, what what traffic is. So let's press let's press the uh, search button and find out what we find. Right now it's underneath the ad group idea, and that's another type of uh, uh, search tool that I use. But we want the keyword idea. We want to find out uh, what's the traffic for for that. Now, as you can see, we under the broad, and what it brought back would be is two hundred one thousand searches for uh, the roadside assistance uh, globally. Uh, 135,000 um, for the United States and Canada would be the local amount. But here, let me tell you something. Right now, this is where everybody makes a mistake. If you think that, wow, okay, we got 201,000 people searching for that particular uh, product underneath roadside assistance or people uh, promoting roadside assistance programs. Now, that is not the market, guys. That is not the true market, the, the targeted market, okay? What that means is this is saying that since it's underneath the broad search type, that any combination of any one of these keywords, I mean anyone, okay? So any one of these keywords in this is producing this kind of traffic. So what we want to find out is the targeted traffic. This is what you do to determine that. It's that simple. Unclick broad and hit exact and watch what happens now the exact the exact match would be it's 18,000 global searches that means they are typing that exact word 18,000 global searches are attack uh, people attack uh, are typing that exact word 8,000 uh, locally now this particular field is pretty much it's going to say it's what our market is okay between these two numbers but it gives us approximately what's going on out there how many people are searching the global search network is basically showing us what an average over 12 months period uh, that means every month what is someone is averaging these are the searches averaging okay now this figure here approximate CPC search if I'm gonna if I'm gonna market this and promote this on Google AdWord, okay? Then <laughs> it would cost me five dollars and seventy-five cent per click to advertise and use that keyword uh, to drive that traffic. Now, later, guys, I want you to go to strategiconlinemarkets.com and come back to my blog here, and you're gonna find out a lot of uh, uh, ad networks and search uh, search and ad, uh, search ad networks advertising networks that I advertise on and my team does and and some other uh, killer leaders do and they promote on these networks as little as uh, one cent a click and if we used uh, uh, a CPV which is cost per cost per view network that I can show you how to use then you can get traffic for as little as uh, five tenths of a penny okay 
<laughs> wow. All right. So let's move along to my blog post by using the keyword. So I just found out we got some traffic to it. We get we got we got some 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 major stuff going on here. Now, uh, right now you're in the back office of my Empower Network um, WordPress blog. My Empower Network WordPress blog. And what it has, the benefit it has in it, it has an SEO scoring tool called SEO Presser. Okay, and this SEO presser is going to give me the exact scoring that I need to do to optimize my entire blog post for Google to be uh, found on the search engine based off of the keyword I just I did keyword research I just did. Okay, so so the first thing that I do when I wrote my title, uh, my title has the keyword in it. Okay, and then it would tell me up here that. Um, I know that that has it in it. Okay, it has to have it in. It. The next thing is, uh, here's my. This is very important. The the permalink to to my URL has to have the uh, keyword in it. So I edit that, guys. I do edit it. I edit it, and as you see, I put MCA forward slash da da da, and I put the uh, roadside assistance in it. Okay, and then I edit it. Uh, then I come back and I hit the save draft. Okay. And come on, computer. All right. Now, after I did that, that's I'm moving on down. I have an image here. And the first thing is you can see here, your image, okay, has an alternate tag to set for the keyword. This is how you do it. Click the image, click that button. And right where it says alternative text, type that. There's the keyword I type. Hit update. You've done that. After you do that, then hit um, save draft again, and then you get that. The, you get to check. Okay. Next line. Motor Club of America offers this. I need this is my H1 line, my heading H1 heading line. Okay. And right here, as you see. H1 tag containing keyword, H2 tag containing keyword, H3 tag. I'm going to show you that. H1 tag as the keyword. Okay, let's move on down. H2 tag, keyword. H3 tag, keyword. Okay, now after I wrote my blog and I did that much, for underneath every tag, I would hit the save draft again and it would give me the checks and give me the score. Okay, so now. I'm down to here where it says keyword in bold. Now, but let's follow up here. Are your keyword in the first sentence? Yes, it's in the first sentence. Okay, so there's my first sentence. And guess what I do right after that? Time I put that keyword in the first sentence, I highlight it like this. Then I kind of says uh, bold. It, it needs to be in bold, so I put it in bold. All right, the next thing is, is it um, uh, in italicized? Then I came down to the next line and it said italicized. Now, this is not working correctly. I'm going to send a, a, a support ticket in to the, the guys at the uh, in, um, uh, Empire Network and let them repair that for me. But right now, as you can see, uh, I have it underlined. So uh, it's just not working properly. But it's in there. Therefore, I, I, I would have a 100% score right now. Okay. Now, the next thing is we have everything from the top, from the from the bottom up. So we got italicized, bold, we got H3 tag, H2, H1, okay, and then we have the alternative tag for all of my uh, my images, every image, every image I put, it's got the HTM tag, all all the images, okay. All right, so let's move on up, and the next thing is, do you have an internal link, okay? So the internal link is I have that, that I want to do. Now, but here is a major kicker, guys. The next line underneath it says you need to install, and a lot of people says don't know how to do this. How do you put this uh, REL equals no follow to be added to an external link? How do you do that? Okay. So let me show you how to do that. I find something common in inside the, the, the post, inside the content, like purchase a um, MCA, and then there's my link after that. So you hit this button which says text, and what it does, it puts it into the HTML mode, okay? So when it's in the HTML mode, 
I'm searching and there it is purchase the MCA there's my title and right here guys when you see HREF equals there's my link there's my link that's entire link right there okay there it is now here's what you need to do this is this is how you insert it once you see target equals squiggly line then blank squiggly line insert your cursor right there after that squiggly line follow me now follow this hit the space bar and then type rel equals squiggly line don't laugh at me because I'm a squiggly bar <laughs> no follow squiggly right after the squiggly hit the space bar so recap again right after this you hit the space bar type rel everything you see right here and you can you know roll this video back to watch it put your link back there I mean put your cursor right back in and then space bar again so it's space in the front and space in the back after you do that hit the save a draft and voila it's in and that's how I got that and so now this is this is key once you do that I did the key I did the I did it here first and I have a link next here I did it for that one and I have a link here and I did it for that one okay so each link I have in your post this is how you just keep on going down until you, you you get that to keep uh, giving you the check mark now I'm gonna show you the last which is a good little trick that uh, let me scroll up to the bottom top to get your density this density is important okay and I got the keyword density up past 200 percent alright now what does that mean how I do that so let's scroll all the way down so my keywords is 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 enriched inside of here now here's one of the things at the bottom of my post I have other related income search terms okay and then I have them bulleted so all I did was I used all the other related keywords to um, uh, roadside assistance and they and here they are so anybody else could type these other and it would still get to my post okay so basically that's it uh, what I want to show here is this is the final product and there's my post and I'm about to submit that in a minute uh, what I do is I have my video in I'm showing exactly the benefit in getting the the roadside assistance program this is what it costs they can sign up right here I take it further and they can get uh, a career with MCA as a referral agent I show the compensation plan and guys hey you refer someone to a nineteen dollar month uh, uh, plan they have to pay the thirty nine dollars up front but the price is nineteen ninety five per month after that then for each person that you refer just the way I'm doing it right now then you get eighty dollars so in this particular example I'm giving someone is that uh, if you refer to 11 people you just made uh, 880 bucks okay well I hope you found this tutorial very helpful and informative and I'm signing off right now and I hope to see you again on some other training videos God bless signing off